Right now, a controversy over the future of sex education in Tempe high schools. The programs on the table not exactly sitting well with some people, including these protesters gathering at district headquarters. Elizabeth Irwin is live in our newsroom now. And Elizabeth, let's talk about the core of these programs and what's really fueling this debate. Well, Steve, some pro life groups are worried changes could mean schools would start promoting abortion. But the school says the goal is simply to educate students so they can make informed choices. This just really hits home, you know. Jennifer Valonis stands outside the Tempe Union High School District office with her young children. We've got nine, seven, four, and three months. Daughters, she says she doesn't want learning about birth control at high school. I would like them to teach abstinence. Jennifer and others are upset that someone who works for Planned Parenthood is providing information on the three plans the school district is considering. The district says the organization has nothing to do with this meeting. But the worker happens to know a lot about the three options the committee's looking into. All three promote abstinence first, but also teach other forms of protection from STDs and pregnancy. We definitely have to do something about it. We have to educate our children. Jevin Hodge graduated from McClintock High School two years ago and supports the committee. If this is an option that you feel that you are morally and emotionally and mentally okay with, then you need to be educated on the concept so you know what you're getting yourself into. State law says schools have to provide age-appropriate, medically accurate info about health and sex education, but Arizona parents can choose to opt out of sexual education for their children if they'd like. Of course, we'll let you know what this committee says when it makes its decision. Yeah, we know a lot of parents will be watching it. Thanks, Elizabeth.